Good morning, family. Welcome to Manna. Pastor Riolan here. Hope you are doing great on this uh, first day of fall, this crisp fall morning. Listen, for a few moments, I want to talk to you from the thought, you. That's it. You. Who? You. So, uh, I'm not a stockbroker. Uh, I'm not in the financial services world anymore, but I got a hot uh, investment tip for you. One of the one of the hottest um, companies out there, one of the organizations with the greatest potential for return on investment is you. Huh? Listen. I spent some time yesterday with with me. And for those of you that are that are caregivers, for those of you that are taking care of other people, for those of you that are always on the hustle and bustle for your job, for your family, for your culture, um let me just remind you that you are the product. We got to be real careful. When, when companies are developing uh, new products in their research and development uh, labs, uh, they're investing in their product. They're investing in their brand. But what I want you to know is you are your brand. If you break down, everything else around you is not as good as it could be. If you break down, you're not, you're not contributing to the whole. If, if you break down, you're one of the members of the part. And so... Uh, but most importantly, you are the greatest thing you have to give, right? Listen, um, if you're married, you love your spouse. If if you're if you're a parent, you love your children. Um, if you're a child, you love your parents, right? But while you're spreading out all that love to everybody else, love on you. I got some Bible for it. Let me tell you why you should love on you. Psalms 139, right around verse 13 says this. It says, for you formed me in the inner parts and you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret intricately woven in the depths of the earth. You are God's creation. Come on, man of God, woman of God. You ought to love you because you were made by the almighty God. I don't even want to be super churchy. I just want to tell you, why are you busy loving on and working for everybody else? Please love on you at the end of the day. Nobody knows you. Nobody loves you. Nobody can care for you. And nobody is fully responsible for you, but you. So invest in you. Whatever that means, whether that means spending more time working out or eating better or reading a little more or going back to school or whatever the case may be, or just spending some quality time, date you. I know we in COVID, but go to the park, go to the, go to the river, go, go, go outside on your deck. Just invest in you because you has you. I hope this helps today. Um, just wanted to give you a little something to, to hold on to. Hey, I got some more for you tonight, tonight, 7 p.m. Uh, our Bible study lessons for living. Uh, we're, we're still in this conversation around what it is to be a church member. You don't want to miss it. Tell your friends, tell uh, tell your co-workers, tell whomever to share and come on and, and hear tonight a word from the Lord, 7 p.m. Uh, PBC TV. <laughs> I love you with the love of Christ. Uh, you know how we do it. We are one. Peace.